Well, this has been a very disappointed week for the Somali government. Firstly, the UN refused to lift the arms embargo. This was a huge mission for the Somali government. The president himself traveled to US to give this speech in UN, and unfortunately, despite all his efforts, they refused to lift the arms embargo. Secondly, ATMIS, the African Union's transition mission in Somalia, were given an extension. And thirdly, as if all of that was not enough, the Kenyan president came out and he said that they will stay indefinitely in Somalia, even if the ATMIS mission ends. Before I say anything else, let me first show you what he said. Clear, we are working with uh, President Hassan in, in Mogadishu. We have decided as the frontline states, Uganda, Kenya, uh, Sudan, that we are going to stay this course. And if necessary, and we think it is necessary, we are going to stay beyond the drawdown timetable so that we don't lose what we have achieved merely because we have walked away from a situation and allowed Al-Shabaab back into the equation or into the theater. We are very clear and we are going to send a very powerful message to Al-Shabaab that it is not going, they are not going to reverse the gains that we have made in the last couple of years. Well, this arms embargo is not contributing at any level to the interest of Somalia in the short term and in the long term. While we acknowledge the importance of international efforts to maintain peace and security, we believe it is crucial to reassess the situation in the light of the progress we've made. So, they refused to lift the arms embargo, making sure that the Somali government and the Somali army cannot fight Al-Shabaab on their own. Then, they gave extension to Atmis, and the Kenyan president is saying that they will stay forever in Somalia. And the Somali government said absolutely nothing to all of this. What kind of absolute utter nonsense is this? How can a foreign leader just announce in French television that, you know what, by the way, our plan is to stay in Somalia forever? And this is very disappointing. I'm quite disappointed at the Kenyan president, which I generally do like, but this is very disappointing. You can't just stay in a foreign country just because you feel like it. But the reality is that the only people I can blame and the only people who deserve to be blamed is the Somali government, because this is their failure. The Kenyan president announced this and none of them said absolutely anything to it. And he did say that he spoke to Somali president and they have some sort of agreement that they will stay there. Why? Wasn't the whole point of the last three, four years, the whole goal was to make sure that all the foreign armies have gone. And finally, people in Somalia and Somalis are generally waking up to the reality that none of these people will ever go. They don't have interest in leaving. They are making too much money in staying in our country. And our government is an absolute failure because how can you just allow foreigners to make decisions like that? How can they just make decisions that, you know what, we're going to stay in forever? You know, we spoke with the president. Where is the parliament? Where are the politicians? Why isn't no one commenting on this? Isn't a Somali government or Somali, isn't a sovereign nation? Don't we have borders? How can people just stay in our country? We have so many armies currently in Somalia. We have the US, who is not leaving. We have Uganda and Sudan and Atmi soldiers. They are not going anywhere. Kenya is not going anywhere. We have Turkey, UAA, Qatar, all these people operating. None of them will leave either. None of these people have any interest in leaving because they are making too much money. And UN is making sure that this will stay like this because they will never lift the arms embargo. This president he tried so hard, he went to UN, he begged the US, he tried his best, but his mistake was, is that he thought that the Western leaders and the Western governments would support his mission. He fought Al-Shabaab, he was successful at it, and then he went to United Arab Emirates, he went to EU, and he went to US, and he begged them, please lift the arms embargo, and all of them voted not to lift it. 
That is the reality. None of them have any interest in giving the Somali government the tools to actually fight Al-Shabaab because their goal is to stay there. Their goal is to make sure that there isn't any development. Their goal is to make sure that there is instability so that they can continue making money. And it's funny that he mentioned Sudan. Don't the soldiers in Sudan currently have better things to do than being in Somalia? There's a literal civil war situation happening and those soldiers are in our country supporting us. None of this makes any sense because it's not supposed to make any sense. Even those Sudanese soldiers, they're making so much money in being in Somalia that they don't have any interest in actually going back to their home country and support it. This is a sad, 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 sad situation when our own government is not even commenting on it. They don't even have a timetable for it. And the Kenyan president, as you hear clearly, there is no plan to leave, not in six months. Not in a year, not in two years. This is an indefinite, this is an forever war that's going to happen in Somalia. And the only people who can change this is the Somali government, but none of them have any interest in doing so. Because they're all getting paid by foreign forces, by foreign countries. So even they don't have interest in actually making a Somali a functioning government, a functioning nation. I'm just so disappointed and this is just so annoying that I just wanted to vent a bit. But let me know what you think. Please do remember to subscribe, like, share and comment.